Hey guys, it's Jenny. Happy social media recap time. Sorry it's been so long. I feel horrible. Next time, make sure you send me a tweet or comment below on Facebook and let me know that you missed my videos and I need to get my act together. So make sure to communicate. And for all you who have told me that you like my videos but I've never seen you click that like button, give me some love sometime, you know what I mean? I appreciate it. So I only got two updates for you this week, but they're two big ones, I think. Um, it's been a few weeks, so I didn't want to go through all the archives. But first up will be Snapchat. You guys are like, why do I care about Snapchat for my business, for young kids? Well, the growing age demographic of users for Snapchat is definitely getting up there, and Snapchat is definitely winning over people for their quick, real-time videos, easy-to-use functionality. And they just added today that for all you Snapchat users, you don't have to actually hold the video anymore to play it. You're just going to have to tap. I know, that's nice, because whenever you used to hold and if you missed your finger, you would lose the video. So now you just have to tap to see the video, which is great. Um, but the cool thing for maybe your business is there's now an ad next to the ad friends underneath in the same section. There's ad near me. So you're going to be able to add friends that are near you in your geographic location. You do have to turn the setting on by enabling your location um, privacy settings for Snapchat, but I think that's really cool. They haven't mentioned that brands can use it yet, but brands are kind of like people on Snapchat, so we'll see. But stay tuned for that. Hopefully that's going to come. But I still think it's a really cool way to connect with people and get ideas about um, content marketing and ideas to market your business. Next up is Facebook. They've changed the algorithm one more time. Um, this is actually built around videos this time. They're actually going to factor in more than just likes, comments, and shares um, when they're factoring how many videos you should see in your newsfeed and what type of videos are most popular. They're now going to look at uh, how many times people have actually turned on the volume on the newsfeed, how many times people have enlarged the video to watch it full, full screen, um, and one more thing, I think how many times, something about playing, but anyway, it's like kind of cool. So now they're going to factor in actions on videos, not just likes, comments, and shares. So that should help you guys. So if you've been putting out some great um, videos on Facebook, but you haven't been getting a lot of engagement, and you know it's really good stuff, keep sharing because hopefully you'll start to see better engagement metrics. That's all I got this week. I want to wish you guys a wonderful 4th of July. I hope you have a great holiday weekend, and I hope I will see you next week. Bye.